through the city, ride through the city, whoa. Ride through the city, ride through the city, whoa. Ride through the city, ride through the city, whoa. We be pulling scriptures, you know how it goes. Fuck, man. Y'all know y'all, uh, uh, I want y'all to check out this side. On the left hand side is what God called us in the Bible. Right hand side is what we're calling slavery. What does your father de uh, descend from? Do you know? What about you, brother? Benjamin. Benjamin. All praises. Let me show you something. What do you think you got? The book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 17. Uh -huh. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, uh -huh. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So when we come out to show our people who we are according to the Bible, we also give them a message of repentance because we got to understand that Christ is coming back soon. Right. So we have to be willing to get ourselves in order, get our spirits right, right. get our minds changed. Why? Because we've been taught by our oppressor. Let me show you something. Uh, you, you said, do you love God, brother? Yeah. You love him? How do you love God? Uh, Explain that to me. Try to share. I'd be, um, um, what you said, um, civilized. And, um, okay. Genuine. Genuine. Okay. Courteous. <laughs> All right. Do you read the Bible? Time to time. I don't, I don't read it a lot. Bro. You don't read it? Okay. You're being honest. All praise. Let me show you how you love God according to the word. All right? I'm going to show you. This is just the regular you know? King James Version Bible. We all got it, but our people don't read it. So we don't know how to handle ourselves in situations. Read what you got. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Read. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Watch this. What's your name? Marshall. Marshall? Yeah. All right. I'm Enoch, brother. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Landon. Landon? Landon. Landon. All right. I'm Enoch, man. Nice to meet you. Listen to this. For this is the love of God, Read. that we keep his commandments. That's how you show God you love him. Yes. Do y'all have any kids? Y'all have kids? Let me ask you something. If your kid, if you um, if you tell your kids, okay, I want you to be home by 8 o'clock, right? If your son or daughter comes home after that time and, say, and they say, hey, I was with a whole other group of people who were just hanging out, are you going to get, uh, are you going to address the, uh, all the other kids or are you just going to address yours? I'm gonna dress all the other kids. You're gonna dress all the other yeah. kids? Come on now. What about you? Uh, just yours, right? Let me show you something. That's how God deals with our people. Because we're showing our people who we are according to the Bible. Watch this. Give me Amos. Because remember, love is keeping the commandments. So if we're not keeping the commandments, there's a judgment for it. Watch this. Bring it out. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Read. Remember, read. you just read that. Remember, out of the land of Egypt or the house of bondage, right? The Most High brought us out of there. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So God said, out of everybody on this planet, these people on this sign are the only people that I know. That's right. That's it. Yeah. Right. Not all the other nations, none of that. Just the black, so, Hispanic, so, and Native So Indians. you're saying that I'm... Um, I'm not saying it. The Bible said it. What you okay, got? Okay, the Bible said it. So, so the, the message um, um, starts... Um, was chosen to be through a, speci a specific group of human race on the planet. planet. Exactly. Okay, okay. And uh, it spreads through those people right here. The Israelites, exactly. And all these 12 tribes are the Israelites. Yeah, the 12 tribes make up that one nation of Israel. Yes, sir. Okay. And they spread throughout the, the, the planet, right? You said what? It spreads throughout the, the, the these people. Yeah, we spread all planet. over, of course. We went we to slavery on ships. Yeah. They shipped us off to every different country. I'm going to prove what I'm saying, though. I want to let the Bible speak. You're right, though. You're right, though. I know. You're right, though. You're absolutely right. Watch this. Yeah. yeah. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So God only known the Israelites, read. Yeah. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So we're the ones that get punished for iniquity. What's iniquity, according to the Bible? Do y'all um, know? You, Transgression. Transgression, okay. Even Psalm 38, 13. Even me. Okay. And, and, 18, and sorry. Not, sorry. Not, not only 18. that, it's like you could make another man pay the price for it instead of you too. You, you said what now? You could let another man pay the price for your doing too. So it goes both ways. Either way, you, you, you were supposed you to for your own salvation. And I'm yeah, proving, but I'm but there's still another man still still, still turn for, for you to pay the price though, even though he's the one supposed to pay the price. Because people do that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you according to the Bible what, what, what the Most High God said. Now we're gonna go with the word. All right, watch this. Yeah. So Psalms chapter 38 verse 18. So the 18. first topic is iniquity. Let's deal with yeah. that. Read. For I will declare my iniquity. And my iniquity. 
I will be sorry for my sin. I will be sorry for my sin. So iniquity is sin. Now let's get what sin is according to the Bible. Bring what do you up. think Bring sin is? Up. What do you what do you know sin to be in, according to the word? Do you know? Anything that, that may um, stop you from acknowledging him. Okay, what about you? All right, no problem, brother. All right, yeah. let's see. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So when you sin, you're transgressing or breaking God's laws. Yeah. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So it's breaking God's commandments. So when you're in sin, like, like for instance, what's today? Saturday. Saturday. What is that? What is that according to the Bible? It's the Sabbath day. It's the Sabbath day. Now. No work, no nothing. We should be like giving him all praise. Okay. So you know these things. I but know, watch I know. this. He's seen us. He done watched us on YouTube. You just watched this before? I, I paid pay attention to it. Okay. Watch this. Uh, uh, hold on. How long you been watching? Um, yes, I'm, I'm at, least, at least. At least like probably two, uh, a year and a half. You been watching for a year and a half, brother. So, you still buying er, er, on the Sabbath. Everything, everything that y'all say is um, I'm familiar with it. Let me show you something. Because you've been knowing. Give me some uh, songs. So let's break down the Sabbath first. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath. You gotta, he said to remember it. Not yeah. just know it. You, you know it's there, but you're not keeping it. You're not remembering it. Right. You understand? Yeah, yeah, God yeah. said remember it and keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. See that? The seventh day. So we know the so first day of the week is Sunday. So where did Sunday come from being the, the seventh the first day. day. That was taught, that's the first day of the week. First Any the calendar week. you see, Sunday yeah. is the first day. Our enemies taught us that in but Christianity. That, you work right. Saturday, that, was a, like, uh, that was a lie that was taught to us in Christianity. The, the right. Right. You know, Read what right. you got. Watch this. But the seventh day is the Sabbath so of we the Lord thy God. The seventh day, which would be Saturday. Okay, yeah, which would be Saturday, all right? Read what you got. Finish that. Um, so the seventh day is actually Sunday. I mean, Saturday. You yeah. said what? The oh. seventh, seventh day is after the Saturday. Oh. It's seventh actually day is Saturday. Saturday, right. Yeah, what I say? So Saturday, Saturday. So Saturday is supposed to be the day you're not supposed to do anything. Right, which is the Saturday. Saturday, yeah. right. But yeah. Sunday is always the day I was told. Right. right. Now, yeah. I'm going to explain that. Because you said yeah. if Saturday is the day, why are we going to church on Sunday, right? That's your question, correct? Read that. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with now, their mouth. He says, This people. He's speaking specifically to the Israelites. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Right. And with their lips do honor me. And with their lips they honor God. Because on Sunday church, right? Who, who do they always say the most spiritual people on the earth is? Black people. Black people, right? You right. can ask anybody that. Yeah, we, that I know black that. people that's, are more that's, spiritual. That's what yeah. but read. But have removed their heart. But have what? But have removed their heart. Meaning their mind. Read. Far from me. So we talk a good game. But we have removed our mind, our hearts, away from God. So read. And their, and their fear toward me is taught. And their fear toward me. Read. Is taught uh -huh. by the precept of man. By the who? By the precept of man. Precept now, of man. The precept of men. Where did we learn Sunday? Where did we learn Christianity? Let me precept. ask you that first and foremost. Just, just, how do we get to America? I, I grew up in Georgia, so I don't uh, know. Perfect. The I'm European Americans, Americans, man. How did our forefathers get to Georgia? The European Americans. The, the so-called white man. He's the one who turns water. How did your forefathers get to Georgia? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. You ever heard of slavery? Yeah, I heard of slavery. Bro. That's how we got here. On slave ships. That's and when right. we got off those slave ships, after the first wave of slaves were killed, but I fight who it. taught us Christianity? My ancestors taught them. Who that. taught us how to read and write? I'm asking you that. I guess the the white man taught us. The white man taught us. Yeah. Along with reading yeah. to write, the first book he taught us to read and write and to understand was the Bible. That's right. And he gave us his understanding of the scripture. Right. You understand that? Right. For example, that image of Christ right there. Have you ever seen that image? The white image of Christ? I've never seen that image. Have you ever seen, seen the white? Right. You've seen the image of white Jesus, right? Yeah. What color is Jesus Christ? I, I have no idea. You have no idea? I, I know, what do you I say? Know him, I say he's a black man. You say he's a black man. Yeah. Revelation 1 and 14. Now I'm going to show you that we've been taught the precept of men because the Bible gives specific details of what Christ looks like. Let's read right. that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh-huh. 
His head and his hairs were white like wool. But what? Were white like wool. Jesus Christ, hair and head were white like wool. Why is that image that's portrayed across the whole earth not displaying what the Bible says? Read. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. Read. And his eyes. And his what? And his eyes. Read. Were as a flame of fire. Right, because when you drink wine, your eyes become red. Christ was a wine. They called him a wine baby. He drunk wine. Read. And his feet. Uh huh. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass, brother? Green. Huh? Green. No. Grass. Brass. If I have a brass. Brass. Oh, brass. Yeah, okay. That's brass. Okay. Brass. Go ahead. Read. As if they burn. As if what? As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn something, what color is it going to turn? I know. I did. I did. You ever seen a burned down house? Yeah, it's going to be black. It's going to be black. Exactly. No matter what color it was, when you burn something, it's going to be black. That's right. So Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? Now, you kept asking, why are we doing other things other than what the scriptures instruct us, right? Give me 1 John 2 and 3. I'm going to show you the way everything we've been taught are lies. And I'm That's gonna show right. you exactly how the scriptures that they were lies. Right. And your leaders, your pastors, your preachers, they are liars as well. Read. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And hereby we do know that we know him uh -huh. if we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. Read. He that saith I know him. He that saith I know him. Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, every mega pastor here in Jacksonville, or small pastor. Read. And keepeth not his commandments. And what? And keepeth not his if commandments. If they say they know God and they are not teaching and keeping the commandments. Read. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. So, I'm asking you this, brother. Has anybody in your Christian church ever told you not to shave your beard according to the Bible? Have they ever told you not to eat pork according to the Bible? Well, I grew up eating pork anyway. No, so that's not the question pork. I asked you. Have they ever told you not to eat pork? No. Let me ask you this. You celebrate Christmas? No, not really. Have you ever been told not to celebrate? No. Right? Have you ever been told to wear fringes? To wear what? Fringes. These are fringes on my garment. No, nah, I never. Never heard any of this, right? No. So the, guess what? The men that you've been learning and watching, they are all liars according to the scripture. That's right. right. They have been teaching you the precepts of men. Right. Now, Ezekiel 22, no, Ezekiel 25 and 23. I won't, uh, they put no difference. They profane the whole thing. 22, 26. 22 and 26. Let's get that. Now, I'm going to show you. The Bible outlines this. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Uh-huh. Her priests have violated my law. says that the nation of Israel, our priests, our pastors, our preachers, they have violated God's law. Read. And have profaned mine holy things. And did what? Have profaned mine holy things. Because you know what's holy to God, what's separate to God, is for you to have a beard. That's for right. For you to wear fringes. That's for right. you to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Those things are holy. Right. But they have not taught you that. Right. Read. They have put no difference uh -huh. between the holy and profane. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Because like you said, you've never been told you can't eat pork right God says that's an abomination unto him. Right. You understand that? Read. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean uh -huh. and the clean. They show no difference between a pork chop and a beef rib. That's right. Everything's right. good under God, right? But that's not according to the scripture. Read. Right. And have hid their eyes uh -huh. from my Sabbath. And have did what? And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. They have hid their eyes from God's Sabbath. Because we just read when the Sabbath was. It's on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday. That's right. right. But what's going on on Saturday? Mm. You got homecoming. You got uh, track meet. Yeah. You got the football game. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. going on on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. So read that again. They have done what? And have hid their eyes. And have hid their eyes. Because guess what the Christian church will say? They'll say what? Every day is the Sabbath. You ever heard that doctrine before? That you can celebrate every day? Well, that's what they teach. They teach that any day is the Sabbath day. Give me that in Sirach 33. I'm going to smash that right now. I'm going to show you. That guess what? Hey. Do you know that God puts a difference between days? Every day is not the same. You didn't know that, right? Because they have hid their hides from the Sabbath. Guess That's what? right. If you're not teaching the Sabbath, you're not going to teach the Passover. You're not going to teach Pentecost. Right. You're not going to teach Hanukkah. You're not going to teach any other so scripture. How did Sunday become the seventh day of the week? I just read it to you, brother. Read that first. Sirach chapter 33 and verse 7. Oh, the way it happened when you read, when you, when you do history at the Council of Nicaea, right? That's where they instituted Sunday 
as the official worship day. Right. Because there was a, there's a lot of pagan influence. Right. The church was split in two. You had this, the real Jews and Christians that were following the Bible. Then you had those that were following pagan traditions. Right. So they said, you know what, we'll have a, a, a Sabbath day, but we'll make it on Sunday. Wow. That's how you have Easter. That's how you have Christmas. Right. That's how you have Thanksgiving. All of these things are mixed in under the same branch. Right. But they're two different things. You can't have evil and good. That's what they end up doing. Right. That's why the, the religion of Christianity is of the devil. Right. That's right. All right. All right, read that. Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Why does one day excel another? So he says, why does one day excel another? Read. When as all the light of every day uh -huh. in the year is of the sun. Right. Every day has the same amount of sunlight. But some days are higher than others. We're going to read what? Read. By the knowledge of the Lord. By what? By the knowledge of the Lord. By the knowledge of the Lord. Read. They were distinguished. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. That's why one day is esteemed higher than the other. That's why you have the Sabbath day, you have the Passover, you have the Day of Atonement. The Most High God made these days what they were. Read. And he altered seasons. And he did what? And he altered seasons. Read. And feasts. Uh -huh. Some of them have he made high days. Some of them have he made high days. Read. And hallowed them. And hallowed those. Some days are set apart from others. Right. That's right. Read. And some of them have he made ordinary and days. some days are ordinary days. Monday through Friday and Sunday, those are average days. Right. But the Sabbath day is higher than every other day. Daniel That's 7 right. 25. Right. Now, I'm going to answer your question with the scripture. How did, the, how did Sunday become the Sabbath, right? I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Daniel 7 and 25. Because when you read in the scriptures, the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks That's of. That's right. And under his rule, under his rule and reign, that is when the Sabbath day was changed. Right. Read that. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Uh-huh. And he shall speak. And what? And he shall speak great words against the Most High. That's the so-called white man. He has spoke great words against the Most High God. He said that his son was a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. He said that every day is the Sabbath day. He said that you ought to celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday on December the 25th. Right. Those are great words against God, because God said, curse me the day I was born. Read. And shall wear out the saints. And shall what? And shall wear out the saints. The same man that spoke great words against the Most High God, he has wore out the saints. Who are the saints according to the Bible? The Israelites, these 12 tribes. Right. right. How did he wear us out during slavery? That's right. We were beaten to a pope to the point where you can't read, write, gather yourselves together as a nation. Right. He wore us out. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Read. And think to change times. Think to do what? And think to change times. Think to do what? And think to change times. He changed the Sabbath day from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown to Sunday. Right? That's right. He right. had thought to change times. Read. And laws. And what? And laws. And laws. The most I got, does the Bible speak about homosexuality? I don't know. I don't, I don't read the Bible. You don't read the Bible, right? Let me ask you this. Is it legal for a man to marry another man today? Yeah, it is now. It's legal, right? Who made, who set that up? A man, of course. A man set that up, right? The Bible just outlined exactly who that man was. The so-called white man. Read that. Leviticus 20 and 13. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Read. If a man if also, a what? if a man also uh -huh. lie with mankind read. as he lieth with a woman. If a man lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman. Read. Both of them. What? Both of them. So, whether you the giver or the receiver. Read. Have committed an abomination. They have committed what? An abomination. God says that act of homosexuality is an abomination. That's Bro, right. Read. They shall surely be put to death. God says that sin is so heavy that they should be put to death because of that. But in today's America, are these philosophies and doctrines being pushed throughout the earth? No, no. we know that. Right. So what is that letting us know? Because they say one nation under God. What God are they following? Are they following the God of this Bible? They can't be. Because the scriptures are contradicting every doctrine and philosophy that the white man pushes on the earth. Today. That's right. That's right. You understand that? Yeah. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Now, all of that is good, but I got to show you the error of your way so you can yeah. repent, right? I That's why we out here, ultimately. About leave in about five minutes. That's fine. That's fine. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Now, I'm going to read the laws that the Christian church has not taught us. All right, read that. They shall not make baldness upon their head. T.D. Jakes, bald head. Many other pastors, bald heads. That's against the scripture. Right. Read. 
Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. To shave off the corner of your beard is to mean that you're cutting it off. You're marring your beard. You're destroying your beard. You see all the brothers up here, all of us have our beard. We let it grow. Wherever it grows at, we go around the outline. But when you shave it off, now you're in the midst of sin. You understand that? That's what the scriptures say. Now, the first thing that's going to happen, you might actually be thinking about this. You know what? You're like, the brother making sense. I'm going to tell you the first thing in the Christian church. You know the first thing your Christian pastor going to tell you once you quote Leviticus 21? You, you think you know what he's going to say? What are you going to say? He gonna say that's in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing he gonna tell you. That's in the Old Testament. We done, that's done away with. Now, give me Matthew 5 and 17. Well, if you Read don't that. follow, you should follow the old and new. There you go. You're absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. But, guess what? The Bible says if any man speak, let him speak the oracles of God. That's I'm right. I'm gonna prove it. Read. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. What does it mean if he says think not? What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Don't think. He said, don't think I come to do what? Destroy the law. Don't think I've come to destroy the law. That's right. Read. Or the prophet. Or the prophet. Whatever you read from Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Daniel, Hosea, I'm not destroying what they wrote. Read. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. He came to fulfill the scripture. Read. For verily I say unto you. For verily I say unto you. Till heaven and earth pass. Uh -huh. One jot uh -huh. or one tittle. Read. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Till what? Till all be fulfilled. Has everything in this Bible been fulfilled, brother? I can tell you. Now let me ask you this. Read, uh, uh, till heaven and earth pass. Till heaven and earth pass. Are we still on the earth? Yeah. Has the earth passed away? Not that I know of. Right, you're standing on the ground, brother. Right. The earth is still here. Right. So, guess what that means? The laws of God still are in effect. That's uh, right. You understand that? Yeah. So don't let no Christian pastor tell you that the laws of God are done away with. Second Ezra 9 to 37. I'm going to show you another scripture. All right, come on. I'm about to ride. That's fine. That's All fine. Right. Second Ezra 9 and 37. Because the laws of God are the, that's why we put in captivity, and that's how we're going to be relieved from captivity. All right, read that. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 37. Read. Notwithstanding the law perisheth not. The what? Perisheth not. The laws of God perish not. These laws are, are, are this is how we get life. Right. Uh, Brute 4 and 1. That's the only way we're going to get out of the situation that we're in, right? Are you from Jacksonville? No. No, where you from? Oh, you said you're from Georgia, right? What part of Georgia? Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. I've been in Savannah, Georgia. They have a very rich slave history in Savannah. Also in Savannah, on the good part of town, where they got the nice old mansion, the white, the old white slave house. Who lives on that side of town? I don't know. The I white man lives there. there. Then you go on the other side of town, and guess where you find it? You find Jake, the so-called black man. Why is that? Because we have turned away from God's law. That's Read right. That. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This Bible is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. And the what? And the law that endureth forever. Read. All they that keep it. All they that keep it. Read. Shall come to life. When you keep these commandments, brother, when you wear your beard, you got your fringes on, you keep in the Sabbath day, you will come to life. Because right now you're dead. You're walking around just like every other uh, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man out here. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you come from. You don't know where you go. You are in the Walking Dead. You ever seen, heard of the show, The Walking Dead? That's about our people. That show is about our people. We're just dumb. We do whatever comes out. Whatever new fashion, we do it. Whatever new dance, we do it. Whatever new sport, we do it. Whatever comes, our people will adapt to it. Because we don't have any history. We don't have any heritage. Right. We don't have any culture. Read. But such as leave it. But when you leave these commandments, read. Shall die. When you leave these commandments, you die. Physically and spiritually. And mentally. And Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. 
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.